morning hurts. It's 7 a.m. I went to bed like four hours ago, but now I have to go uh, get up, go to uni. I won't film any of my way there. I don't live in a very nice neighborhood. Uh, maybe be like, hey, I could use a camera like that. Uh, you know what I mean. Creepy people. See you then. Bye. Isn't it pretty? <laughs> Those are actually dorm rooms up there. This is the cafeteria where we eat. This is another part of the campus, the main science campus where I go to all the time. Over there is another tent where you can buy drinks and food. There's a science building. Um, and now I'm going to go into the building I, s I have most of my lectures in. The Golden Temple of Physics behind the trees here. So this is one of the main buildings where I spent most of my last four semesters. And this is from the geography department, a cool seismograph thingy shows earthquakes and stuff. But also they have all sorts of stones here you can look at. And that's the main lecture hall where I was most of the time but that's not where I'm most of the time now. I'm going to go there now. One of the labs. They basically all look the same. I spend six hours or so every Wednesday. After I had lunch, I went home and I filmed the bus drive from the uni campus to the main station. I didn't film the way to my house because of the reasons I mentioned earlier. <laughs> where I first met Leo. Isn't it romantic for the Nerdfighter gathering? Home now. First thing I always do when I come home. Look at the fan art one of my subscribers made me. I basically check the internet, watch YouTube, like it has recently come to my attention. I'm subscribed to 227 people. And I actually do watch almost all of the videos they're posting. Does that make me an addict? I think so. And of course I Skype with all of you wonderful German arts. It's all, almost always like 2 o'clock in the morning or 3 o'clock in the morning till I go to sleep. Even when I have to get up early. This Sunday is my mom's 50th birthday and I'm going to visit her and my twin bro brother's coming and everything. Leo's coming on Saturday too and staying the night at my mom's house. She actually lives closer to him than I do. That's saying something. This week's challenge is to tell an embarrassing story about yourself that is actually true. When I was little I was really scared of the dark. Not when I was in bed or something, but when 
I was standing like in the middle of a room and there was no light and I didn't have anything to, to hold on to. And to this day, whenever I reach into a really dark room for the light switch, for one or two seconds I imagine just a cold hand coming out of nowhere and grabbing my wrist and just for one or two seconds though. When it's like se semi-dark and you can still see a little bit or there's a moon or something, it's it's all fine, but if it's completely dark and you can't see anything at all, that's probably why I'm so scared of, of going blind. That would be horrible. Very, very horrible. I'd rather lose the ability to talk, I think. So if you had to choose between going blind, going deaf and going mute, what would you choose? Tell me down in the comments. I want to edit this video because tomorrow, right after uni, I'm going to my mom's house. So I'm not going to film when I go to bed, but I, like I told you, it's probably going to be like 2 in the morning or something. You just have to be satisfied with that. 